as uh, here comes uh, Regis with the goal kick and a tie in the air, landing right around where Niffin gets her first touch. Well done, Ashley Niffin, to get a hit on that. And now it goes to Schisler and now to Halenga who taps it. So Regis has put in another, uh, uh, put in another defender now, number 18, Maddie Reeves, I believe. Yes, that's what's happened as uh, Shoemaker sends uh, Hull away, who heads it towards herself. Good play by Hull. Can she do something? Oh, she cuts her opponent down from behind, and that's going to be a free kick as uh, Hull was trying to get the ball and the Regis player goes down with a trip from behind, right down on that goal line. Um, and uh, with time running out here, if Regis are going to take their time uh, taking this uh, free kick. Man, it's been a tough, tough match. And Fort Lewis have only lost one match this year. This could be their second. Uh, but they'll still be going on to the NCAA finals uh, next week, irrespective of what happens here. Well, the NCAA tournament. We hope we end up uh, going to the final four. That would that would be a mir- that would be wonderful. Yes, I misspoke. Thank you to the NCAA uh, tournament, uh, which will start uh, next week, and we think Fort Lewis will be on the road, in spite of their high ranking. Uh, um, the athletic director for Fort Lewis says we're going to be travelling because of. Uh, um, well, I'll get to that later. Here we are in the final minutes of this game. And Benavides uh, touches back to uh, Welcome, and Welcome sends it up to the uh, middle of the field where Regis uh, don't have to do any th- passing here. They just have to kick it out, kick it a long way away. As uh, it looks like uh, Niffin, no, she didn't touch the ball, so it is a throw in to uh, Fort Lewis. There's two balls on the field. Uh, that was right in front of the Regis fans. They were slightly displeased with that uh, with that call. If she did touch the ball, it was only her ponytail, that's for sure, because uh, it didn't change direction. Benavides touches it to Streetle. Streetle touches it over towards uh, Schisler. Schisler can't get the ball. Headed by uh, Welcome. It's going to be out of bounds. Time uh, running out here. Can Fort yeah, Lewis 26 throw seconds. it to Regis? I don't think Fort Lewis is going to get enough position to get it forward here in the dying minutes of this game. Oh, this is uh, going to be this a... This is a tough loss. It's going to be a tough loss here as the ball comes forward. It's off Welcome. Out of bounds. That'll be another throw into Regis. They'll take their time. Yes, we only have 10 seconds to go. The referee's not even... Uh, making the Regis player hurry up and throw it. It's going to be a win for Regis here as it's kicked out of bounds. And uh, congratulations to Regis University. They have won the RMAC tournament, having lost to Fort Lewis a week ago. They win this game, Lauren, 2-1. to one. Yeah, this is a tough loss for the Skyhawk women. Boy, they, they played their hearts out. They played well enough to, uh, to win this match. But unfortunately, we came up uh, just a goal shy here. And it really came down to... Uh, uh, Fort Lewis misplaying a couple of balls, and uh, you know that's what happens in, in uh, good soccer matches. You, you misplay a ball, and uh, the other team will take advantage. And so, the first goal was scored by Haley Hilinga, and that was actually off of Lauren Riley. It was a long pass, and and uh, center back for Regis let the ball one hop, and Haley Hilinga was able to, to to get on that ball and and uh, find the net, and that was. Uh, 37 minutes in, and then uh, Regis was able to, to equalize uh, shortly thereafter, and it was a, um, a loose ball there just at the top of the 18-yard line, and that little C.C. Reinhardt was able to, to strike a nice ball, and, and uh, Christine Smelzy made a, a wonderful save, but it, it uh, took a gratuitous bounce there to uh, Megan Stewart there, and Megan Stewart was able to find the net, so at halftime it was 1-1, to one. and then um, uh, there was another long ball that was played in and um, uh, Jordan Miller was able to uh, get on the end of that long ball it kind of one hopped in front of our uh, center backs there and, and Jordan Miller uh, uh, got sandwiched there in the uh, inside the penalty box and and uh, number 17, Froelich for Regis, was able to, to put the penalty kick in the back of the net. So there you go 2-1, uh, the shots there on the uh, scoreboard say 5-5 five couple of freshman uh, mistakes uh, possibly led to those goals, but you know, in fairness, those uh, four oh, they freshmen played well. they played brilliantly They played all absolutely season. well. All the, all the girls played well. It just, you know, that's why you put, go out there and play the game, you know. And so, uh, you know, we it's possible we could end up seeing Regis again. And so uh, we'll see how the NCAAs go and how the seeding goes. Um, it's, just, it's just, you know just wonderful to be up here in the press box and uh and watch an absolutely delightful soccer game today and i want to thank all the fans that were giving me text messages throughout the uh the match letting me know how the the broadcast was going and the video and stuff and keep it up and 
Uh, it's good to hear from you. Yeah, thanks everybody for listening this season. The season isn't over, but uh, wow, what a great uh, performance uh, these Fort Lewis have put in this year. Uh, only lost one game uh, up until this game today and tied one. Everything else was a win, and uh, this is their second loss of the year, but they fought so hard to uh, win this game, just going down to a very, very good team, a very well-coached team in Regis University to come down here and win the RMAC tournament here in Durango, Colorado. And uh, just repeating, if you didn't hear earlier, that the men also lost, the Skyhawk men lost in the uh, tournament final, that's the RMAC tournament final in Golden today, to the home team, that is Mines, and... Uh, Mines will be going on to the NCAA tournament in the men. Whether the uh, Skyhawk men do, we won't know and probably until uh, Monday evening. It's going to be a close call. Yeah, uh, we'll, we'll have, to see, they make it. have to see how that all works out, you know. And, and uh, we'll, just, we'll just have to wait and see. Hopefully both both teams can, can get in and who knows how it will work out with the coverage. But stay, t- stay posted and... Uh, uh, look at uh, FLC Soccer, the, uh, the, the school website, and we'll let you know. Yeah, and uh, the talking to the uh, the athletic director for uh, Fort Lewis earlier today, Kelly Higgins. He thinks that Fort Lewis women will be will be travelling. There's some debate about that, but he thinks they will be travelling uh, for the uh, first game of the NCAA's. Uh, they might be going east. Um, so uh, to where we're not sure, but anyway, we'll know more uh, because it will depend on other results that are going on today. Well, we have come to the end of this uh, broadcast, Lauren. I want to thank you for uh, all your uh, work this season. It's certainly not over, but it might be over here at uh, Dirk's Field. But uh, thank you for your uh, fabulous uh, work this year. We've enjoyed bringing And likewise, John, it's been, been a great, great season. And... Uh, you know, every once in a while we have these technical difficulties that, uh, that we have to work through, so thanks for your patience. Uh, not sure about the time. It might be 5 o'clock or so. Uh, but anyway, uh, there, uh, if you'd like to come and uh, see your uh, Fort Lewis women soccer players, uh, we understand a lot of them and uh, some of the parents will be down at the Irish Embassy uh, just later this afternoon uh, here in Durango. We thank all the Regis fans uh, for listening, and congratulations to you. Your team played absolutely fabulous today here at Dirks Field. They won the game uh, two to one, and uh, thank you also to uh, Marcus back at our KIUP studios for your uh, excellent help today.